Welcome back everyone. Today we will make the fork end of the knuckle joint. So this is the last part of the knuckle joint which we need to make. So let's get started. Uh, click top plane and click sketch and then choose three point arc. No, choose center point arc. Click on center and then make this arc. Click OK and then again choose center point arc. This time bigger one. Click OK. Then choose dimension. Dimension the outer one as 30 mm and the inner one as 15 mm. Okay, and then click these points and these points to vertical and these two also vertical. Click these points, this point vertical and this point and this point is vertical. So after this choose line and connect these two points. Again choose the line and connect these two points. OK. Then choose center line. After that, choose two more, more two more lines. Mm, click the line point and the circle and make them coincident to the same for the other one. Dimension these distance as. 14 mm and this distance also has 14 mm now again choose a line this time over here click again the line and choose for construction smart dimension this line from this point to this point as 32 mm After that, smart dimension this point and this point over here as 130 minus 40 mm. After this, choose line and close this area. So you may have an error message popping out. Click that and it will self-diagnose what is the problem and accept that and it will fully define sketch. After that, exit the sketch, extrude boss space. Now the thickness should be the thickness of the part and then make the dimension as 28 mm and for the selected contours oh one thing is left uh, we need to trim these areas as these are not required okay so now extrude ball space Click on this area, it will automatically pick those up and then enter 28 mm as the distance and go blind in this. So you'll have something like this, then click on this face and choose sketch and normal and choose polygon. Make sure it is 8 sides 
and from this I center the reference line make a polygon choose any of the sides and other side and make them as parallel okay then choose smart dimension and dimension this circle to be 28 mm then choose this line and this line and make them collinear and choose this line and this line is collinear okay so this is fully defined now exit the sketch now extrude it click on extrude ball space and extrude it up to a nth of 40 mm okay it is done now click on fillet and make sure it is on face fillet click first face second face and distance to be 6 mm then again fillet click on this face this face and ok then again fill it this face this face and click ok and just one more time this this face and this face oh sorry this and this and click ok so once it is done it will look like this now click on this face and again sketch normal two. then make a circle doesn't matter where you make just have a rough area where you make it and make it the hole to be 25 mm ok and then dimension this this as 14 mm and this to this as again 14 mm now it is fully defined in this sketch choose extruded boss base and this time the distance should be 25 mm ok so this is ready now click on the front plane and then click on the reference geometry and then the plane now we will offset this by a distance of 30 mm click ok after that click on plane 1 and click sketch and then normal 2 now we need to convert these entities click on this this face and this face by pressing the control menu control button and then click convert entities they will be copied to this part okay then choose line and then place a line over here dimension this line from this point this point as 32 mm okay then choose circle and make two circles okay smart dimension uh, make first circle 25 mm and make the other circle as 52 mm okay now we need to dimension these up smart dimension this is from this point to this point is 14 mm is it full is defined now now click on three point arc or you can also use tangent arc but I'll use three point arc click on this face this face and make an arc okay again choose three point arc click this face this face and make an arc okay now click on this and this and make it as tangent this and this make it as again as tangent ok do this for this also click on this and this and make it tangent and 
click on this and this and make it as tangent okay uh, so now there are two ways or two more ways click on this point and this point and merge those lines like this click ok and do this for the same over here click on this and this and merge those ok after you have done this choose line click on this point and then on this point click ok this is done exit the sketch now click on extruded boss space select this face now you may delete this surface as well as this surface now here reverse the direction from this button and 15 mm is the length ok so click ok now at this point you can even hide the plane which I will do now hide so it will look something like this after that click on front plane and click on this I button which is show button so it will be shown then click on mirror mirror face plane choose this plane and features as this as you can see now it has been mirrored then click on ok then you can again hide this so this is the fork end which is being modeled up so now we have completed all of the parts so in the next part I will show you how you can assemble this and then we can even try out the animation also so let's save it I will name it as fork end save so there you go uh, I will see you in the next video till then goodbye